Hi everyone, welcome back to Plan with Elise. Excuse this glow going on here, but I just got some happy mail. I only ordered two things from the latest Happy Planner release. Let me just, sorry, I should have done this first. Okay, and then we have more <laughs> glow going on here. But I ordered this Productivity Extension Pack. This is the Everyday Extension Pack. I actually got two of them because I was so excited to use these. So originally when the Stay Wild, Wild Style, Be Happy box came out, it came with this filler paper and I loved it. Let me tell you why. Well, I guess this isn't filler paper. These are daily sheets. Most of the time when you see a daily planner or you see daily sheets, even when I've looked on Etsy in the past, they usually have the times of day. For my life, I don't need the times of day. I know that I'm going to be at work from nine to five. And then outside of that, I'm probably going to wake up. And then after that, maybe have dinner, watch a TV show. I don't need a schedule. And it always takes up because it's a long day. It always takes up a huge chunk of the space and I just never needed it. So for the last several months, I've been using these daily sheets. Sometimes, I mean, never multiple days in a row. So like here was one that I used in August and I decorated. Um, and then if you saw, there were a couple of other here that I kind of decorated a little bit while watching TV one night this summer. So these are really great. And I was hoping that Happy Planner would come out with a planner of daily sheets in this new release. Instead of that, they came out with this extension pack. So I think I actually like it more and here's why. If it were a planner, it would have a cover, discs, and then uh, I think this is one or two sheets of stickers. Let's open it. And three dividers. And then I would have, actually, I'm kind of changing my mind right now because <laughs> it wouldn't have been bad to have discs and a, and a cover, but that's okay. I have thoughts on how I want to use this. Um, okay, let's take a look. So it comes with two sheets of stickers. So we have hexagons, page flags, today, tomorrow, today, tomorrow, little set of these wider stickers, and then bullets, to do tomorrow, to do today, oh, to do today, to do tomorrow. And then these boxes, which fit right down here in this space. So you could put a quote here. I know that a lot of people have asked what to use this for. And when I've used this as a daily sheet, looks like I got that one dirty. Sometimes I've written like self-care, to call, or sometimes when I've used it for work, I've done to call, to email, you could do one as tomorrow. There's a lot of different uses. I'm gonna make sure you can see this well. Okay, there's a lot of different ways you could use this. So there, this is thick. This is 50 sheets front and back. So 100 days in here, in addition to the two sticker sheets. And then there are three dividers. Be stronger than your excuses. It also has a nice background if you want it, or on the other side, if you wanted to flip it. Be brave and kind. Again, nice background. You could even put another sticker here or you could letter on it, turn it this way. And then this one I like, make waves. It's really pretty, this like watercolor design. And again, you can flip it, which I really like about these. So I guess the other reason that I'm glad it didn't come on a planner is because these are undated. I don't need these every day. I don't use them every day and I don't use them every week. But when I do choose to use them or need to use them, they're incredibly helpful to have. So having something undated like this is wonderful. So I have done, I also have a link to these in the description of this video. Um, I think they're available at Michael's as well as thehappyplanner.com. I have done a couple of videos where I've shown, I think maybe three videos where I've done a plan with me for these um, for a daily, but today I'm going to show you something different, another way to use them. I just wanna make sure, I feel like this is very bright and I, I don't know if you can see what's going on. I think you can, it's just gonna be a little bit bright. Oh, and then I totally forgot, this is video four of my 14 day quarantine in a hotel trying to film videos, uh, the challenge. I don't know if it's a challenge, but here's what I wanna show you today. So there are a lot of bullet points here. Let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So probably 20, I stopped counting at 10. 
20 bullet points is a lot. There's plenty of days. I mean, there are some days where I can put a list of 20 things to do, but there's a lot of days where I don't have a list of 20 things that I need to do. Um, it is helpful when it comes to work, but everything I do work-wise is computerized. So while sometimes it's helpful for me to have a little notepad to jot things down, as of now, having a separate planner or a separate sheet for work sometimes um, can be repetitive and it's not a good use of time because I already have it written down somewhere else and it's a perfectly organized system. Well, I have it typed, it's not written down. I'm talking really fast. Okay, let's take a breath together. Anyway, today I want to show you how I'm going to use, my hair is flying, how I will use this to plan a week or to kind of have a brain dump for a week. So there's a couple of tiny little things that you wanna do. First, I'm gonna use a jelly roll pen, but you could definitely use a sticker. I may still use a sticker, but I'm going to just cover up this today's date. You could also use correction tape. I just don't have that with me right now. But I just use a little bit of white jelly roll. And then I have this functional sticker here, sticker book here from the little bloom box. So I'm looking for, um, I saw something on the cover that I was looking for. Hmm. Okay, this I think was it. Let's see, heart or star? Let's do star. So I think you could take this and then you really wouldn't have to cover up the part that says today's date, but I'm just gonna put this sticker down right here. There we go. And then what I could do, I don't love the star. I probably could have cut it off, but it's okay. And then what you can do is write down the week that you're looking at. So because we're already pretty much through this week, I'm going to write down next week's dates, which are September 21st through 27th. So I'm using my Micron 01 here. Very shaky. Okay, September 21st through 27th. Okay, perfect. And now I have to cover up this little part right here. So I'm again going to use this white jelly roll and that's because I'm going to put a sticker over this and I don't really want this to show through. Okay, so now, oh wait, we've got one more to do, hold on, bear with me. Okay, so you can just take any sticker, I'm going to use one of these circle ones, and I think every Happy Planner Circle sticker is the exact same size. Say Happy Planner Circle sticker 10 times fast. You can still see the exclamation point a teeny tiny bit in there, but that's okay. Now, one more area to cover up would be this little today. So I could put plan, I could put plan, but it's not really going to be plans. It's going to be more of to do or notes or reminders. So let me look for another sticker that may work there. So remember, I mean really any header on any sticker book will do for this area. Here we go. This is a to-do. Oops, something's ripping a little bit. Okay, and then I'm just going to cover up this today with a to-do. That's a little crooked. Okay. 
Okay, so now with three stickers, and really you didn't even need three, this has been converted from a daily sheet to a weekly sheet. So the next thing I want to do is, I think this will cover this area up. Let me just grab my tweezers so that I can see a little bit better. Huh. This is like very big. I don't like how big that is for this spot. Let's see if we can find a little bit of a smaller square here. These are probably better for this. Although they could be the exact same size. I guess we'll find out in a second. All right. It's still kind of big, but I'm just going to go with it. So let me line this up right here on the top. And then I'm just going to do one more over here. And this one is going to be purely functional. Sometimes I decorate and there's plenty of time to decorate, but for this one specifically, it's just going to be a functional um, page. This is not working. Sometimes these tweezers are not my friend. Okay. I'm gonna line that up. Okay, so for this top one, I'm going to, there's a couple of different things. My first thought was I was going to put bills because there was bills to pay. And I think next week, just looking at the dates, I have two or three, so you could write bills here or you could write, um, you could even write birthdays if there are birthdays coming up. And I do have one birthday next week, so you could do bills and birthdays. You could do one or the other, and then for this one you could write next week of things to remember for next week. But for now, I'm just gonna do bills and birthdays. So let's write these down. Um, trying to decide if I want to do any fun lettering here. I don't think so because birthdays is going to be longer than bills, but I'm never really good at centering this when I <laughs> put these through. So let's do that. Bills and birthdays. I know I have at least one birthday next week. I don't know if I have two, so for now I'm going to write birthday and hope I have enough room to add an S if there's more than one. I think it's just one though. Okay, so I have room to add that little S in there if I realize that I forgot a birthday. Okay, so, um, all right, so now I have room for my bills. We've got room for birthdays. We have a we have room for all of the to-dos that may come up. You could also use one of these boxes for fitness if you had a fitness goal of maybe like walking a couple of times or going to the gym. I don't know what people are really doing for fitness due to COVID. And then in terms of reminders, I think what's important is figuring out what each of these sections will be used for. And while it is flexible and you could do a lot of different things, also kind of having a plan and sticking to it is important because I know sometimes in my mind, I'm like, what's the difference between a to-do and, to and a reminder? So here's an example. Next week on Monday, I will hopefully be getting a COVID test. And then a couple of days later, I'll find out, a few days later, I'll find out if I'm negative or positive. And hopefully if I'm negative, fingers crossed, I'll be able to get out of this hotel and go stay with my family. But I'll need a reminder to block off time in my work calendar to schedule the test. Um, I'll need a reminder to call to get the results for the test. And um, I'll need a reminder to look for the bill that may come up like a, my online portal or whatever from my insurance. So that's an example of something that would be a reminder. I guess it could also be a to-do and that's where it gets kind of fuzzy. So. 
Maybe you could use reminders and change it to share like memories of the week if you wanted. And then of course there's the priorities and self-care. Um, what I've used in the past here is I've done water tracking. So this wouldn't really work for an entire week. It just kind of works for a day, but I've kind of done a tally of every glass of water that I had. Did I sound very Jersey there saying water? All right. I'm talking a lot. <laughs> so anyway, this is just an example of how you can use one of these sheets to do an entire week, not a day. And I'm going to get these set up on some discs. I'm really excited. I love the pink color. I do love the neutral beige from um, the wild style or stay wild. I don't remember what it's called. Be happy box, but these are really pretty. And again, they're double sided. There's a link in my description. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for video number five.